Hey guys, this is Alan Hines. I'm here today to talk about a new guitar um, line that Exotic has just come out with, and I'm pretty excited about it. As a lot of you guys probably know, I'm kind of a vintage guitar nut. So it's, uh, it's pretty difficult and it's pretty rare that I find another guitar that's kind of modern that I want to pick up and play every day. This new line of guitars is called the California Classic and probably good for good reason. You know, there's kind of three aspects of, uh, of a guitar that makes it a good instrument to me. So let me first talk about the sound of the guitar, because that's the most important thing after all. This guitar is a one-piece alder body. And the first thing I noticed when I picked it up, I just kind of played one chord acoustically. Um, and it just kept resonating and going and going. Even now you can still hear it. And that's the first thing I noticed about it, it's lightweight and it resonates like crazy. And you know, there's some other things on the guitar that I personally like in a guitar. It has steel, raw vintage saddles on the bridge and nickel frets, which don't sound that exciting, but you know, this day and age, people are putting titanium things on everything and brass things. And to me, they, those all have their own attributes, their own kind of sound, but this is more of the vintage and as long as the piece of wood is a good piece of wood, then the guitar is going to sound great with, you know, steel saddles and nickel frets, you know. And these raw vintage exotic pickups, they kind of just recently started winding their own pickups, which I'm always a little suspect about because it seems like something that people are kind of learning how to do in their garage, you know, but it, and they can make them work, but that doesn't mean they actually sound very good. But the guys at Exotic are all musicians themselves, so they have a real keen ear, and they have a great research and development like room laboratory over there where they can compare like old 56 and 59 Stratocasters and really and really size them up. And like I say, the guys are all musicians, so they they know what they're looking for, you know. So these pickups are hand wound, and the first thing I notice that in any position on the on the the guitar, especially one of my most important areas of testing. Uh, pickups or a guitar is turning the bridge pickup on by itself with no delay, no reverb, or no distortion, just to see if I can play that and it doesn't offend me. That's, that's uh, then I know I'm kind of in the ballpark. And a lot of pickups, you know, by major sellers, like you play them and they're really bright and just shrill. And this one's totally musical, big, fat, and warm. So I knew it was going to work for me for um, for my overdrive sound. And that's another test too. I mean, playing single co coils with overdrive has always been a big challenge for guitar players to not make them sound real kind of stringy and thin sounding, you know? So, um, and that's, I don't know what that magic is, but it's something in the winding. I don't know if it's scattered winding or whatever it is. Um, I don't, I know it's not the strength of the magnets or the pickups because these are not necessarily hugely big output pickups, but they just sound good. They sound right and full and warm. So for those reasons, I mean, this, the, the, the quality control coming out of Exotic now, I think is really special too. So when I first picked up this instrument, it played great sounded great before I even plugged it in. Which brings me to the next of a good sounding guitar or a good instrument is the playability of it. And um, a problem with some old vintage instruments, as a lot of you guys probably know, is that the radius on the necks were kind of set up more for playing like, you know, chords more than solos. And as guitar went on, everybody kind of found out that the, the rounder radiuses were harder to, to bend on because you have low action like everybody wants. You can't really bend a note uh, very well without it crapping out, just the law of physics going over that bit of a radius. Um, so the cool thing about this guitar is it has the old sound but it has the modern playability. And when I got, once I, once again, when I got the guitar, the quality control is really good. I didn't have to have them do anything like to lower this, you know, the nut slots or adjust the neck. It was all kind of set up um, like a professional musician would have his instrument set up, you know, right out, right out of the box. So um, yeah, that's kind of the best of both worlds right there is the, the vintage sound plus the modern playability. Um, I should say also that the neck is, um, is you guys probably know about the new trend, uh, the, the roasted maple stuff, which is what this neck is. And I was, you know, I teach at Musicians Institute and I, I see a lot of guitars come through. Um, and there's really something to the roasted maple thing. I mean, it really is structurally probably harder than most necks. 
they're stable, uh, and they seem to have like a nice fluffy mid-range to them in general. I assume it's the neck, and it seems to really make a difference. I was a little skeptical at first, because once again, you know, I'm kind of an old, uh, kind of sit in my ways, vintage guy, but this guitar really has the feel and the, you know, and the sound of an old guitar. And I think it's a com combination of all these features that make it sound so good. The third component I was talking about in the making of a good instrument is the, is the appearance. And um, yeah, they kind of got it right, you know? I mean, they've got these bodies that are aged with nitrocellulose. The finish looks correct. You know, it's dinged up a little bit. I mean, I have some students that, you know, pay thousands of dollars for relic guitars and they bring them in and it looks like somebody took a fork to the body and just kind of scratched it up, you know? It doesn't look real, like guitars don't really age that well, that way. And this one, looks believable to me, you know? The nitrocellulose is only gonna get yellow with age, it's only gonna tint. You know, the, the, the tint on the neck is, is beautiful, the way it highlights the grain of the wood. And even the logo, which, you know, that I was helped kind of oversee from years, the years past. We all been tinkering around with ideas, but even the vintage, the, the logo looks really cool to me, to my eyes. It doesn't look too crazy, too much like a hieroglyphic or anything like that. It looks, you know, it looks kind of vintage -y, so. So yeah, it's, um, it takes a lot for me to really um, you know, want to pick up this guitar before I pick up one of my vintage guitars, or to pick up any guitar besides my vintage stuff. But this one is really great. It's fun to play, and I look forward to playing it every day. It's um, the new Exotic California Classic Series.